Buenos dias, soy Ruth, and welcome to Spanglish Fantastico. I'm going to be doing this video un poco diferente. We're talking about how to tell the time and how to ask for the time. So this is una pregunta y una respuesta, a question and an answer. And I'm going to be starting to release these videos just once a week. And that's just so I can make time for my other projects, which are the Daily Word Builder. And what I'm working on now is PASOS, which is a course with a course book that I think that any beginner would really like. So let's get to telling the time. To ask the time, you've got three different words for time. You've, you've got, got tiempo, that means time. Hora means hour, but that's used for time. And another time is otra vez. Otra vez, because they say v with a b sound. Otra vez. We're going to use que hora es to ask what time is it. Que hora es. Sometimes you might hear que hora son. That's what time are they? Because son means are they. Right. So the easiest part is just counting to 12. You can say son las dos, son las tres, son las cuatro, son las cinco, all the way up. Te ten, eleven, twelve, son las diez, son las once, son las doce. Bien? Uh, and then you can especificar la parte del día. So, son las dos de la tarde. Now, it might seem obvious to somebody who asks que hora es, that it's afternoon and not two in the morning. But you could say that. Imagine somebody turns up late and you say, Son las dos de la tarde. You know, you were meant to be here at eight o'clock, a las ocho. Uh, of course, there are, um, there are a couple of exceptions. So when it's one o'clock, you don't say son. You say es, because that means it is rather than they are. So es la una. You would also say it's midday. Es medio día. Now listen, medio, because it's día, which is a masculine noun. So medio día, es medio día. And media noche, es media noche. It is midnight. And listen, media, because noche is a feminine noun. What happens when it's not precisamente en punto on the dot? <laughs> okay, so to go around the clock, we say E instead of where we would say past. We would say five past two. In Espanol, it's the other way around. And it's son las dos y cinco. That word E just means and. So it's two and five. Son las dos y diez. Son las dos y cuarto. That's a quarter. Or... Son las dos y quince. Son las dos y veinte. Son las dos y veinticinco. Son las dos y media. Or son las dos y treinta. Okay, you can say it either way. Then you can carry on counting all the way around with y, meaning and. So son las dos y treinta y cinco. Or you can skip up to three, just like we do in English and look backwards. So we would say it's 25 to 3. And en español son las tres menos 25. It sounds like minus. It means less. Okay, so it's las tre the three less 25. Son las tres menos 25. Son las tres menos 20. Son las tres menos cuarto. Son las tres menos Yes, and so on. We also have 24 hour clock, so you can say son las catorce y cuarenta y cinco. So 14.45. Son las catorce y cuarenta y cinco. So now 
you have, I think you have everything you need to tell the time in Espanol. Let me know if you like this slightly different style where I've put a bit more language visually in writing for you. Let me know that. Have a look at the PASOS course, which you can find on SpanglishFantastico.com if you'd like to go through a complete course from start all the way up to a good intermediate level so you're confident speaking Espanol. And if that's your goal, let me know what is your goal. What do you want? That's what I'd like to hear in the comments. And por favor, subscribe so you don't miss the next video which I will be releasing next Monday. Okay, muchas gracias for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.